Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to max out your strength in the quickest way possible. So I am on this new account and my strength is almost max. Just going to quickly bring up my stats to show you. And it's almost at maximum. And the fastest way I found to do this is not to go into a mission or to start hammering NPCs uh, in free roam. And the one whereby you start punching and kicking your friend's uh, vehicle while you, he is in it doesn't work anymore. Right now, the fastest way to maximize your strength is to create a deathmatch. And after you have created it, you'll need to test it out. And that is where you can max your strength. So in order to create a deathmatch, you will have to go to your pause menu and then go to creator mode. And then once you load up into creator mode, you just select create a deathmatch. And then just select the normal deathmatch and it will bring you to another menu. So let's just go through this step by step on how to create this. You can choose any location you want. I would recommend choosing a location that is um, pretty wide open, no buildings, no obstacles, so that you can very much access the NPCs uh, very quickly and easily. I for one am going for LSIA because the tarmac at the airport is the largest space I think um, that is uh, open and it's pretty easy to place the spawn points that the deathmatch would require you to. So let's just move on to the airport and I'll go through the rest of the details from there. So here we are at the airport. In terms of details, just name your um, deathmatch. Any name will do. Any description will do as well. Just take a photo. You won't be using it. Number of teams should be two. Maximum players, eight. And minimum players will be two. So you can set the match uh, time limit to 15 minutes. It actually won't take longer than that. And for the target score, set to 50. I have tried setting this to 150, but it doesn't work. I do not know why, but setting to 50 uh, will ensure that it actually works. Because after I did 150 kills, my strength did not go up. So I don't think 150 kills would work. You can actually give it a try. I mean, um, if it does work, just let me know. And I'll add it in as additional info. Now move down to lock weapons and select forced only. And the force weapon that we are actually looking for will be the jerry can. It's funny to note that if you actually equip the NPCs with a jerry can, they just stay in place. They don't hit you, they don't move, they just carry that jerry can and they stay in place. So that is what we want. So after you have done that, just exit to the main menu and then go to placement. Now we'll just place the trigger right here on the map. Just right in the center, it doesn't really matter because it'll just be a job marker on the map if you bookmark the job. And we're not going to do that. After that, just take a picture. You won't be using that as well. And then you can start allocating the spawn points. So what you need to do right now is to allocate 8 spawn points for Team 1 and 8 spawn points for Team 2. You can look on the bottom right of the screen. It actually lists how many spawn points you have put down for both Team 1 and Team 2. So as you lay down the spawn points, it will give you a count so that you know exactly how many more you need to put down and how many more you need to go. Do note that you will need to put down the minimum required number of spawn points before they will even allow you to actually go ahead with the match. Else it will put an exclamation mark and keep asking you to come back and do this. So just keep laying down the spawn points until the counter states that you don't need to lay down anymore. So now we have like seven to go. So we just put down seven. As you're laying down the spawn points, please put them as close to each other as possible. So you don't really have to run about trying to chase down the NPCs, even though they won't be moving, but having them close to each other still saves you a bunch of time.
So after you've laid down the spawn points, just back up to the main menu and select team start points. You will need four start points per team. So just put them anywhere you want. Now that is done for team one, let's go for team two. So once you're done putting down all the spawn points, it is time to go test it. So it is doing this testing that you will be able to keep punching and kicking the NPCs to up your strength. Earlier you had already seen how much my strength had to go before it was maxed out. So later we'll be looking at how much increase there is after we have done this. So as you can see the NPCs are all standing by at their spawn points. They're holding on to the jerry cans and they are not moving. But when you actually hit them and they lose the jerry cans, they will retaliate. But I think that's manageable. During my entire time using this to max my strength, I did not die one time. So grabbing 50 kills um, on NPCs just by punching them to death takes uh, quite, an, quite an amount of time. I will just be speeding up the video in a short while so that we can actually see um, 50 kills in a much lesser time. Meanwhile, do drop a like and subscribe as I will be putting up more videos to show you how to max other stats and a whole lot more content to come. To everyone who has already subscribed, thank you very very much for being very patient with me when I actually stopped putting up regular content for about a week or so just so that I could actually plan the content direction of this channel going forward. So I'll just let this video fast forward and I'll be back when we reach 50 kills. So we have reached 50 kills. It will automatically throw you back to the menu and all you have to do is just exit. But before you exit, do not forget to save it so that you can access it again. So right now, you won't be able to see your strength update while you are still in creator mode. You can see over here, the strength is not maximum yet. So you actually have to load out of creator and go online to take a look at the actual stat. So let's do that right now. So back to my tiny two garage apartment. Not only is it small, it's pretty dark too. I actually wonder where the lights are. If anyone knows how to turn on the lights in this apartment, just let me know. And there we have it. Strength is maxed. It just popped. So those 50 kills in the death match took us pretty far. And if you're just starting out, you have one bar or two bar in your strength. You probably will receive the same amount of experience in terms of uh, strength or if not more. So there you have it, that is the fastest way right now to maximize your strength in the shortest time possible. I hope uh, you liked today's video and thanks for staying with me till the end. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.